All right, so we are going to uh, click this button and have it spin um, a couple of times and land on a number and know, the, know what number it's landing on. Uh, first, we want to do is select the group um, and put something in there. So, let's so make sure I'm selecting the group. Um, I put Wheel of Fortune on the group. I have uh, inside here uh, the numbers I can get away um, once I want it to go away. It's separate from the graphics, so it makes it a little bit easier. Um, so over here, I'm going to select the spin button, execute JavaScript, I'm going to paste the JavaScript in, and let's explain uh, what the JavaScript is doing real quick. Alright, so um, the Wheel of Fortune uh, text that we assigned to this, um, it's um, it's looking for that and it's um, assigning it a variable name of animation target. Uh, there's 16 uh, um, numbers in here, so 16 sections. Uh, section size 360 by, by sections is about 22.5 degrees. Um, this is the math uh, randomizer. I'll man randomize from 1 to 16. That's your um, high yeah, spin wheel. Um, the first part is kind of Weird, I had a number here before and it would spin one way and then stop and spin the other way on the other one. So I just took the duration out and the ease to none. Um, but what this uh, does is it gets a rotation to 140, I'm sorry, 1440, and it puts that into the final rotation um, right here. Um, I complete, so it, you know, it does a math function and then it goes to do this. Um, and in here it goes, uh, um, this is going to be the duration of the spin. Um, this is my ease. It goes one way slightly and then goes the other way and then lands on a number and then uh, rotates back. Um, and then after that it sets a few functions. Um, you're going to have to set uh, these uh, inside here afterwards. Um, but we'll. Uh, Wheel total rotation, this is a final rotation. So, final rotation right here gets um, put into the storyline variable right here, and will result um, gets set here. Um, and then, if you um, are inspecting it in uh, uh, Chrome or Firefox, you can see the console log right here, and then this will spin it, um, uh, do all that um, once it's loaded. Hang okay, press OK, press OK. Um, so you'd add these two uh, variables um, in your your file. Let's go preview. So when I click that button, it's going to spin the number. And after it uh, stops spinning, it'll tell us 13. And spins again. And 13 again. Spin again. Lines on three. Lines on four. Yeah, so you get the um, get it. I'll just continue um, uh, lining on random numbers. Um, so after that, uh, you could say um, show layer um, when that variable changes. And put it right here, and when it lands on it, it will show that uh, uh, that layer. Um, so you, know, you can do something like that. Once it has the uh, variable um, set, you can um, um, have something happen after that. Um, and that's how um, you do this. Uh, have some randomization of uh, using a Willaporton uh, type will. Yeah. Thank you for watching my video.